For my son's spring break this year, we went up to Big Bear for a week of skiing. It was his first time skiing ever, so here's how it went. If you enjoy travel, adventure, and fun, and want to stay up to date on future videos, please click, like, and subscribe, and stay in the loop. So the first day we got up there, uh, the weather was absolutely ridiculous. It just, it sucked. However, for most trips like this, you know, they, they get pricey. Uh, to go to Big Bear, it's, it's fairly affordable. I mean, anybody that lives in Southern California, you can just drive up for the day, ski, you pay for lift tickets, ski rentals, and you just drive home, that's fine. But if you're doing a week trip, you're renting a place, you're having multiple ski day rentals, you're having multiple lift tickets, you wanna get the best out of the trip. So, you're gonna ski in whatever the conditions are, you don't care. And you can't really plan far enough in advance to know about the weather. Nice leisure, Dan. So, this being my son's very first time, the strategy was I put him in ski school so that he could learn the fundamentals. And then I went and skied for the day to kind of get my money's worth. And I went right up to the top. There wasn't anybody up there. The skiing was the, the the skiing conditions were actually really good, but the weather sucked. I mean, I was getting pelted with hail that was just hitting me in the face like sharp knives. But I got my ski in. It didn't matter. It was all good. That's part of the trip. <laughs> Coming back out of relax some muscles. Thing was already hot. Little maniac. Yeah. What do you got going on out here? Best thing you ever did? Nice view? Nice view. Cool head? We rented a really nice place. It had a jacuzzi. We oh which by the way. Hitting the jacuzzi after you ski all day will save you so much pain. It, it like works wonders behind on the muscles. Behind the back? She's gonna do the behind the back maneuver? No. Oh. Oh, that's a pool shark if I ever saw one. Jiminy Christmas. Hey, good morning. Big Bear, Big Bear has been a success. Um, we've done all the things that you can do in Big Bear. We're right now cooking our, our breakfast, but we got this nice cabin to ourselves. Um, I took London skiing. He went on four runs, successfully snow plowed, um, success, successfully fell, successfully got up. Um, so he, he's got his bearings on it, he knows what he's doing. Um, we played pool all night. We watched a slew of movies. We've been having plenty of coffee. Um, but we're just refueling for the day, getting back out, and uh, that's it. That's your first uh, chillest experience. I'm gonna die. You are, you're worried about you're gonna die? Oh yeah. You, what was the first thing you said when we got in the lift? Oh, this is nice. Yeah, this is nice. How about you, Chloe? What do you have to say for yourself? Great. Yeah? Are you scared? Yeah. Are you snow plow, snow plow, snow plow, snow plow, snow plow. Turn that way. Snow plow, snow plow. <laughs> well, you had more that time. Yeah. Now you're going to get up and do that again. What? Well, that's skiing. <laughs> this is much better, right? Now okay, so day two way. was actually London's first actual day going all the way up on the lift, getting on the mountain and going downhill. Keep going, on don't the worry first about day, me. they just worked on the fundamentals, which was great because he actually had that foundation before I even got started with him. Now it was time to go downhill, to fall, to hit the snow, the whole shebang. Bend the knees a little more. Bend the knees some more. Now go right. Start slowing down. Put some pressure into that boot. There you go. 
honestly, once he got going too, and he got a feel for like the you know the gravity bringing him down the hill and and its pull and and just way to to move one way versus the other, he's really started to like it. And you know, once he started to get momentum, he was into it. Here, a little bit there. I had skied my whole life, and this was actually one of my first times being in a position where I had to explain how to do it. I've never really coached anybody how to ski, so I, I kind of had to go through the motions and figure out the steps of what, what I do to ski in the first place. So um, it, it was a struggle for me just to kind of articulate just the process to him. All upper body, all lower body, all lower body. Get in that seated position. As you can hear there, I'm, I'm trying to get him to squat down a little bit more and use like the whole bottom part of his body more because you don't use your upper body except for to kind of keep your balance. So the more he can get down in that squatting position would have been the best for him. And as we go along, you can see that he he started to get it. He's you know he's sliding along. He's enjoying the skiing process, which was great. So that was a big lift for him. And honestly, once you can snowplow and make a complete stop in the snowplow, the whole task becomes so much easier. So like as soon as he starts going down and he feels like, oh, I'm a little out of control or he needs to slow down. Once you can do that, you've mastered it and you can just, you, you know, you don't need any help. You can just go skiing wherever you want. It's going to take a little while to get, <laughs> get some of the steeper slope. This is, this is some exciting footage we got here. Look at this. This this is this is Calor resting and this is London resting. London was forced to rest due to gravity. It ended up being a pretty decent day, the, the second day when we went out. Um, we had a little bit of rain here and there, but um, the, the snow was pretty decent. I went all the way up to the top. And up there, they didn't groom as much, so all the rain from the night before and the day before really made the snow super, super heavy. But from like mid slope to the bottom, they had groomed that all night, and the the snow was fantastic. I mean, you you could you could maneuver through it pretty easily. At the end of the day, I got my own personal ski and time in. Went up to the top of the slope. London Calore had both gone in for the day. I banged in maybe like another six or seven runs. All in all, I can say this, you know, Big Bear, Snow Summit, the, these, are, these are nearby mountains that you can hit that are actually, there's plenty of skiing on it and it's not too, too expensive to rent a place up there. So I highly recommend, you know, taking the time to go up, do the whole week, do three, four days if you can. There we go. You know, it's, it's not as nice as going up to Mammoth or going up to Lake Tahoe, but it's a lot more affordable and the, you know, the driver, you don't have to fly. So um, I highly recommend it. We have a river that flows through our driveway here. Where the lifts are going today. This is the day we're checking out. <clears throat> and this is the most beautiful day. So we didn't get to ski on this day, but it was pretty nice yesterday, just not not blue skies like this. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe and you'll catch my next video. Thanks.